All right, let's talk about the Yankees. Uh, the bullpen problems didn't do a great job tonight. Are you concerned about Yankee pitching? And Nick, I'll start with you. Yeah. We, we know they have injury, injuries to their starters. Sabathia may be coming back, but their pitching throughout, which we thought was a strength, is not getting it done. Yeah, and I think even in the offseason, I think this was a big worry of the Yankees. I think that was why the reason they went out and signed a guy like Gio Gonzalez, who's in AAA, had a great start last night. Uh, you're definitely going to probably see him sometime soon. Uh, I think CeCe's going to be coming back on Saturday. But if you look at the starters the Yankees have, right now Tanaka has been absolutely tremendous you've got Paxson who's done a decent job right Jordan Montgomery's on the DL we haven't even brought up his name at the time so I think if you're the New York Yankees the one thing you do have on your side you got a lot of guys that are banged up right now and an offense that can mask a lot of problems that go on with the starting pitching so I think as many as as big as the problem is right there I think they can get over this hump and Nick, in many ways, I'm more optimistic about the Yankee rotation than I am about the Red Sox rotation, which has their 100%. own concerns right now. But the one thing I'll say with the Yankees is Severino's injury. It looks like now he's not going to pick up a ball for weeks. He may not pitch in a major league game until July. That's a guy who's your ace, opening day starter in yeah. an ideal circumstance. I'm a little worried there. And from what I can tell guys right now, sources indicate nothing really hot for them with Dallas Keuchel. They believe their answers are internal with Joe Gonzalez and CC Sabathia. And the problem is the bullpen is getting taxed because of the injuries to uh, the Yankee starters. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the Padres, uh, yeah, we know about Machado and, and Fernando Tatis Jr. Who else steps up for this team, this young team that's uh, off to a pretty good start? Well, to me, Chris, it's all about balancing out the production, as, as we talked about before. And, and to me, it's been the emergence, the reemergence of Will Myers right. and Hunter Renfro. Renfro, in particular, has been a guy that's been mentioned in trade conversations the last two off-seasons, but the power for him has showed up, and Will Myers, you see it there, always sans batting gloves there for Will <laughs> Myers, uh, one of the great natural hitters in, in baseball. And I think that for a while, Nick, there was so much uncertainty. Where was he going to play? Was he going to get traded? Was he an infielder? Was he an outfielder? Now his position is right in the batter's box, just hit. Yeah play there and, and not worry so much about being the face of the franchise the production now shows. Yeah, of course, I think definitely bringing over a guy like Manny Machado takes a lot of pressure off of everybody. But wasn't this the plan? That, I mean, that's the number one minor league rated system in baseball. There's no doubt about that. It just seems like they're the youngest team in baseball. Their team is, they average 26.9 years per player. That's the youngest in Major League Baseball. So to see the success that they've had, it's so great because it gives them confidence moving forward. Now, do I think this is sustainable? Maybe not as much. We've got some powerful teams in that NL West, but I think the biggest thing about it is it's always nice to see young teams come up and have a plan, right? Mm -hmm. Keep to the plan, stick to the process, just like Embiid says, stick to the process, right? And everything will take care of itself. It's been almost a decade since they finished April above 500, and they have that opportunity uh, with the good start. Right, how about uh, making a move to help the young pitching? You got Dallas Keuchel out there. Should yeah. they get a veteran if they think they're truly contending? It's a great question. I would say... Likely not for a rental, but if it's a multi-year piece, if right. it's a Corey Kluber, who they talked about during of course, the offseason. Which would be a great guy. Exactly. Perfect leadership. To me, to get a rental, you'd have to then go back out in the offseason again and right. find that veteran leader. So Dallas Keuchel, perhaps, of course, he's throwing not far from here right. uh, in Orange right. County every fifth day. Uh, maybe a Matthew Boyd with the Tigers if they fall out of the race. Someone who can be a veteran mm -hmm. mentor for this group. Because every starting pitcher right now, Chris, in this rotation, 27 years of age. Right. Which younger. Yeah, we should invite Dallas Keuchel to drop by uh, the studio. <laughs> he can throw his bull at, at Fox Field. Field. The bull hey, at Fox Field. I'll stand in on some for you, bro. <laughs> we, I ain't got nothing to do. We'd love to have you. We know you belong out there pitching.